Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, this right here, this just kind of blew me because I always, well, yeah, yeah, I just haven't recently since all of this been going on with this Listeria. But I love boar's head deli meat, and I usually always get the turkey meat, you know, for my sandwiches. But um, or when I make subs and stuff like that, or even when I get, when I order subs, especially from the grocery store, because I always get boar's head uh, deli meat. So anyway, now there's been this thing going on with Boar's Head, and it's been going on for a while now because I remember first hearing about this, I want to say maybe a month ago, but y'all know my time and be all jacked up, so it might have been about two weeks ago or something like that. But uh, yeah, y'all, so I, I heard about this, so that made me, actually the week that I heard about, I just had ate a, a sub the day before that. So that kind of blew me a little bit because it was like, okay. And it had me pulling up Listeria to see what the, uh, what the symptoms are and all of that. So like I said, y'all, that was, that was a few weeks ago. So I haven't been sick or anything like that. Thank God. But it's just kind of messing me up because like I said, normally when I, when I get groceries, I usually get, uh, usually get deli meat, you know, I usually get boar's head deli meat for my sandwiches and stuff so i haven't been able to do that but yeah so it's still going on y'all they said that people are still dying so my thing is that why is this meat still being sold in the stores because i do most of my grocery shopping from Publix. i don't know if y'all have a public Publix grocery store where you live at but i do most of my grocery shopping uh at Publix. And I saw that Publix was one of the stores that they had to do a recall on. But I'm looking like I just grocery shot from Publix like two days ago when they still had Boar's Head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So why is it still in the store, period, if people still dying from the Listeria outbreak? Because like I said, this has been going on for a minute now. I thought that it went away. And then I see this. So... Anywho, y'all, let me read this article real quick, y'all, so we can just make sure that we stay safe, y'all. Do not get Boris head. When I read this article, then I see if it's anything other than Boris head. But I think it's just Boris head so far because that's what I've been hearing. So anyway, let me read this, y'all. It says, check your fridge. CDC warns against eating recalled deli meat as deadly listeria outbreak expands. So it says, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is reminding the public to avoid eating recalled deli meats amid a listeria outbreak that has expanded to become the nation's largest since 2011. Boris had issued a recall in late July for more than 7.2 million pounds of his ready-to-eat liverwurst and some other deli meat products due to concerns about potential listeria contamination. But the CDC says at least a dozen more listeria listeriosis cases have been reported in week, recent weeks y'all and I, i'm gonna be i'm, I'm sounding a little funny y'all let me stop for a minute i'm sounding a little funny y'all because i'm really trying not to i, I kind of bit my tongue a little bit and y'all know how that is and it was just a little bit and that don't kind of you know and I, i'm trying not to i'm trying not to hit it again so I'm kind of talking a little funny to y'all a little bit. So anyway, that's the reason why, if y'all notice, if y'all notice that. But yeah, y'all, so back to the article. A total of 57 people have been hospitalized in 18 states and nine people have died. The CDC says that the CDC, sorry, y'all, says this listeria outbreak is now the largest since one linked to cantaloupe in 2011. The agency has said that the true number of illnesses is probably higher than what's been reported because some people may have a milder case and were not tested for listeria. There's also a lag time between when an illness happens and when scientists can connect it with an ongoing investigation. The CDC advises consumers to check their kitchens for any remaining recall products because they have, they have a long shelf life. Look for EST dot one two six one two or p dash one two six one two inside the usd mark of inspection on labels some of the products have sell by dates until october 2024 the recall products include liverwurst ham bologna sausage and roasted bacon 
Most people who became sick reported eating turkey or liverwurst, and some reported eating ham. However, Boris had said any products now available at de deli counters are not subject to recall. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. So that explains to me because I, I just said to y'all that I do. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure I remember where I, uh, where I stopped at right here. Okay, so, um, yeah, let me get off of the article real quick, y'all. So, okay, that's why, because I just said a couple of minutes ago that I do most of my grocery shopping at Publix, and they, Publix still have boar's head meat in the deli, and I usually get turkey meat for my sandwiches. So, come to find out, okay, which I feel good about, because all this other stuff that they talk, I don't eat any of that. I don't eat any of liverwurst, ham, bologna, sausage. I don't eat any of that. Okay, whoo. All right, y'all, so I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. But I'm still not going to, at least for a little bit longer, I'm still not going to get, I'm not going to mess with any boar's head, anything at all. I'm not even going to get, uh, I'm not even going to get the deli meat for my, for my sandwiches. I'm just going to leave that alone. Well, continue to leave that alone for a little bit longer because I thought it was all boar's head, but come to find out it's not all boar's head. It's only, uh, you know, particular ones like the ones that they have listed right here. So, which I said, y'all, which is a good thing for me because I don't eat any of this anyway. So, all right, y'all. So, moving on along, Listeria bacteria is hardy and can stay on surfaces like countertops and meat slicers. So, you don't even have to eat a contaminated product to get sick. It can spread easily at delis, the CDC says, transferring from one equipment sur to surfaces to hands and food. Refrigeration does not kill the bacteria, but heat can. People who are pregnant, those who are 65 and older, and those with weakened immune systems are advised to avoid eating any deli meat unless it's been heated until it steams or reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees. If you have sliced deli meat at home, clean a refrigerator and any containers or surfaces that may have come into contact with it and watch out for sym symptoms of listeriosis which can take up to 10 weeks to develop. Oh, that sucks. Because it was, I think it was less than 10 weeks ago when I ate that last, when I ate that sub. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm out of the clear because nothing ain't hit, in, in, you know, after a couple of days. And now y'all talking about it could take up to 10 weeks to develop. So I'm still not out of the clear yet. But again, just like I said, I don't eat any of that stuff that they mentioned. So I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, y'all. Okay, so on with the article. Listeria bacteria causes listeriosis, the third leading cause of death from foodborne illnesses in the United States. Symptoms can include fever, muscle aches, and fatigue. An infection can also cause a stiff neck, a headache, confusion, or seizures. I hope y'all paid attention to that because if y'all start getting any of these symptoms, you might want to go get checked out. And I'll read that part again, y'all. It says symptoms can include fever, muscle aches, and fatigue. An infection can also cause a stiff neck, a headache, confusion, or seizures. Okay, y'all? So make sure, like I said, y'all, if y'all start developing any of these symptoms, make sure y'all, y'all, you know, get to the, get to a doctor. Okay, so on with the article, y'all. Anyone who develops symptoms of listeriosis should get medical care right away. The timeline of this outbreak stretches over several months, the CDC said. As the first person got sick at the end of May, the investigation is ongoing. The CDC is encouraging people who get sick with listeria to work with local public health officials who may get in touch to find out what they ate in the previous month and may ask for receipts or leftover food to help pinpoint the root of the outbreak. So, yeah, y'all, this, this, is, this is serious. Um, I don't like the fact... Most of the time, most of the time, illnesses like when you once you eat something or when you come in contact with any type of um, any type of virus or anything, I thought that usually most of the time in like 24 hours, then you're going to have symptoms. You're going to be sick. So that's kind of what I was looking for after I ate that sub. And then I, I heard about this the next day. 
and it was like you know okay so i'm not sick yet so i'm i'm good but this thing talking about it could take up to 10 weeks before you start feeling anything so you know that kind of sucks but not kind of sucks like that sucks all the way because in 10 weeks you're not even going to remember that you even you know that you probably even ate the sub when well, people probably gonna re- gonna remember now because you know hysteria and all of that. This is going on, but who usually remembers ten weeks ago? I ate the sub from such and such. You know, that's not even gonna cross your mind if you start getting sick. I know me anyway. Like if I start feeling sick, I'm going to look at what I probably what I might have done, you know, twenty four hours ago or at least a week ago. You know what I'm saying? At least a week not 10 weeks so you mean to tell me that if i get okay in 10 weeks it's the 10th week or whatever and i get sick from listeria y'all i'm not gonna be looking at i'm not gonna be thinking that that sandwich i ate 10 weeks ago was was making me sick right now like i said i'm gonna be looking at what i where i went or what i did 24 hours ago or a week ago so that that's that's scary i never heard of uh I never heard of uh, something taking up to 10 weeks to develop. I never I never heard of that. But anyway, y'all, it is a thing because they mentioned it right here. And other people probably heard of it. This is I, I feel like this is my first time hearing that something can take that long to develop. Something like, you know, I, I thought, you know, like I said, within 24 hours or a week or something like that. But 10 weeks? Sheesh. But yeah, y'all, so I just wanted to make this video real quick because like I said, I thought that this was over with. I thought that because I I hadn't heard anything more about it in a few weeks. So I thought that it was all taken care of. And then all of a sudden I see this popping back up again. Like, okay, so Boris had still killing people and making people sick. Like I said, I just wanted to make this video so that anybody that comes across it can be aware that Boris Head is still having that Listeria outbreak going on, but to also be aware that it's not all Boris Head, like your sliced turkey meat and all of that that you get from the deli. They're saying it is not that, but it's certain uh, certain products, certain, you know, certain Boris Head products, like they had, uh, what did they have? Liver, liverworth, ham, bologna, sausage, and roasted bacon. So it seems that these are the only uh, the only ones to be worried about. But like I say, y'all, if it's Boris Head, I'm just not going to do it anyway. And as a matter of fact, I'm about to go. I was just talking to my cousin this morning and we were talking about some things. And uh, I'm about to go back to to not eating meat anyway. I already don't eat a whole lot of meat. The only thing I really eat, I might eat... Uh, you know a piece of fried chicken baked chicken or whatever every now and again roasted chicken or whatever every now and again and like i said i get turkey meat um deli turkey meat for if i want to make sandwiches and um yeah that's really the only the only meat that i eat but i'm just skeptical about all of it like and then it's just skeptical about food anyway Anyway, because right now we know that 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 Boris had some of their products are uh are giving people, you know, are, are infecting people with listeria. But we still have to think about all this other food that's out here, y'all, that they're allowing to you uh, all that stuff need recalls. All of it need to be recalled because I still don't understand why you have what is that weed killer or paint thinner that's in cereal. Please, t- please, I don't understand why is that in cereal? Why is it? It's either one or the other. It's either weed killer or it's either paint thinner. And it's in cereal, y'all. Look at, check that. Check your check your ingredients. Check that. Pull, Google that and check your ingredients on your cereal boxes. Because I was blown as hell when I saw it and that, and that, it, that it was in some of my favorite cereals. You know what I'm saying? So either which way, the food that we eating it is 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 killing us. It's not doing us any good, other than it, you know, it's not doing us any good. It's not doing us any good at all. So y'all just be careful about, uh, you know, just be careful about what y'all eating, and then be careful about this boar's head. Like right now, we're hearing about boar's head, but I wouldn't doubt if we don't hear about some other brand, 
sometime soon with the same thing going on because y'all I, I really wish I can just grow my own food I really wish I could grow my own food and I, I need to um I live in live in an apartment so that would be kind of difficult for me to do that if I had a house and had a yard then it would be easy for me to go ahead and start me a garden my own vegetables and all of that because we can't trust any of that food we can't trust the vegetables we can't trust the meats we can't we can't trust anything fruit we don't even know if we're eating real food y'all i saw something about a couple of weeks ago about salmon and i love salmon like for real for real i can eat salmon every day of the week i can eat salmon a different meal every day of the week that but it's salmon and whatever size i have with it like i said y'all i can have a different meal every day of the week with the main thing being salmon but a couple of weeks ago, y'all, I, I saw a video on some. I tried to hurry up and scroll past it because I didn't want to see it, but I ended up seeing a little bit of it anyway. And I noticed that the last time I made salmon, y'all, like a week ago, it was really good. Like, it was really, really good. But I was really picking through it. Like, y'all, for real, for real, I was really picking through that salmon. Like, it was so good, and I wanted to eat all of it. But the more I was eating it and the more I kept looking at it and I'm thinking about this video and I'm looking at little stuff and it was just like, y'all, I ended up, I, I really did pick through that salmon. I really have, because I, I usually get the skinless salmon. So I really have no type of anything left from salmon on my plate once I finished with it. Y'all, I had so much salmon left on my plate. It was crazy. Never. And I'm looking like, okay, so here y'all go about to mess me up on you know, on something else that's a favorite of mine that that now I'm not going to be able to eat because of this. You know what I'm saying, y'all? It's just crazy as hell, y'all. So that's why I be doing the vegan, vegetarian. I be doing all of that because I, I just I just can't. And then who even know? Because just like I said, we can't even trust the fruits and the vegetables. So yeah, it's just all crazy, y'all. But anywho, y'all just be safe, safe out there with um with, with what y'all eating. And um thanks for watching this video, y'all. I'm out.